Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question 12, part 3 from the October, um, actually it's the October stroke June 2020 paper. The June, the June session was cancelled that year due to COVID and they gave the same paper, I think, in October. Anyway, so this, um, this paper here, this question here, question 12, part 1 and 2, I saved in a separate video because it's more related to P3 and this question here is more related to P4. It's from the old C34 um, specification and it's more linked to the new P4 which is it's integration by substitution. So they've told us using the substitution u is equal to 1 plus 2 cosine theta or otherwise find the integral of this expression with respect to theta. Okay, so that's what we have to do. We have to integrate this, which is the integral between the limits of pi over 2 and 0 of 2 theta, sorry, 2 sine 2 theta over 1 plus 2 cosine theta with respect to theta using this substitution. All right, so now we're going to give our answer in the form lin ae squared, where a is a constant to be found. All right, so now when we got integration by substitution, okay, we always, always start off in the following manner okay I, I mean there's different ways that people do it but I find that this always just makes everything very easy okay where we're starting off our objective is to integrate this with respect to theta what I'm going to do first I'll say let me call the function that we're integrating which is 2 sine 2 theta over 1 plus 2 cosine theta let me call that y so what we're doing here is we're integrating y with respect to theta. That's basically what we're doing. This is y, integrating with respect to theta, and the limits are in terms of theta, pi over 2 and 0. The limits are in terms of theta. That's when theta is pi over 2 and theta is 0. Now, in order to do that, what we can do, if we use a substitution, we, we introduce a third kind of like a variable, u, into this. What we can do is we can rewrite this as y d theta du du okay so whatever that th whatever this is whatever that third variable is that you're putting in you put over this d th du d theta so d theta du du sorry okay now that is the same as this because you can think of these as cancelling out however now because this says du as this is integrated with respect to u all right the limits must be in terms of u not theta just like this is integrated with respect to theta the limits should be in, in terms of theta these must be in terms of u and there's, was, there's one of the viewers who was mentioning that he's a bit confused about changing the limits that's the reason why we have to do it because this is integrated with respect to u everything inside the expression in the end before i integrate it will have to be in terms of u no thetas in there so therefore the limits must be in terms of u so that's the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to deal with changing the limits so that they are in terms of u okay so now what we know here is that um, u is equal to u is equal to 1 plus 2 cosine theta that's the, what they told us u so we know that when um, theta is equal to pi over 2 okay so let's let me call this the first value of u and the second value of u okay when theta equals pi of, of pi over 2 then the first value of u here up here is going to be 1 plus 2 times cosine of pi over 2. Now cosine of pi over 2 is 0 so this 1 plus 2 times 0 which is 1. So I know that this is going to be 1 here and I know that when theta is equal to 0 then the other limit for u is going to be this one is going to be 1 plus 2 times cosine instead of, of, of theta we're going to put 0 this time. The cosine of 0 is 1 so it's 1 plus 2 times 1, which is 1 plus 2, which is 3. So I know that this limit is going to be 3. Okay, so we're, we've got the limits changed first. We've, done, we've dealt with the limits. So we've got the limits are between 3 and uh, 1. 1 on top and 3 underneath. Don't, what we don't do is we don't um, say, oh, the bigger one has to be on top, because that will cause problems. Okay, it's not the bigger one on top. It's whatever comes on top is on top. Whatever comes underneath is underneath. Okay, that's something that we have to um, be careful about because 
it's not they're telling us to find the area of something they're just telling us to find the value of this so um, <coughs> in the end the sign uh, is important because that will be the value of this now so you have one over three uh, sorry one and three are, the, are limits now why I'm going to at the moment write why exactly as it is here okay and then we'll see in the end we're going to have to get rid of these thetas but I'm going to write it like this two sine theta over well, I could do actually, so I can write instead of 1 plus 2 cosine theta, I can replace that with u because this is the same as that. Okay, so I'll just put u straight away here, that's fine. Because that, that's pretty obvious that's going to happen. Then we need d theta du. Okay, so we know that u is equal to u is equal to 1 plus 2 cosine theta. So what we need is to find d theta du. Now what I'm going to do to make life easier is find du d theta first. Okay, because to make theta the subject of this is going to make it very complicated. So make d, find du d theta, which is going to be basically, that becomes zero. Two cosine theta becomes minus two sine theta. And that means if that's du d theta, d theta du is its reciprocal, which is minus one over two sine theta. So I can replace the d theta du, okay, so the d theta du is going to be replaced by minus 1 over 2 sine theta. Okay, so I replace the y with what y is equal to. And I just put the u instead of 1 plus 2 cosine theta. All right, I've replaced the d theta du, okay, by what that's equal to, which is minus 1 over 2 sine theta. And that it has to be integrated with respect to u. Right, so I still have some thetas in here which I have to get rid of. Now, how are we going to get rid of this? Now, as I said, it always works out nicely, right? Certain things cancel out, certain things you can replace with something else. Now, what I notice here is I've got here sine 2 theta. I know that the sine of 2 theta can be rewritten in terms of single angle. Why do I want to think about this? Because this is single angle. So if we express them as the same thing, we might be able to simplify a bit. Now, sine 2 theta, as we should know from the double angle formula, is equal to 2, cosine, two sine theta cosine theta. 2 sine theta cosine theta. Okay, that's something that we should know from the double angle formula. Okay, it's not in the formula book. We should know it. And its derivation is from the formula sine A plus B, which is in the formula book. This gives you sine A cosine B plus cosine A sine B. So if you have sine 2 theta, it's like sine theta plus theta. So you have sine theta, cosine theta, plus cosine theta, sine theta, which is 2 sine theta, cosine theta. That's where it comes from. Okay, so you should know it by now. Um, and if you don't, you should make sure you memorize it. That's something that's one of the fundamental identities that will, you know, normally come up in these type of questions. So I'm going to replace the sine theta with 2 sine theta, cosine theta. So I've got 2 times, and I've got 2 sine theta, cosine theta over u and times minus 1 over 2 sine theta and that's got to be integrated with respect to u but I can't start that until I go to these thetas now sorry that's sine theta what am I doing 2 sine theta cosine theta so what happens when you're in a rush okay so now that 2 sine theta and that 2 sine theta will cancel out because these are multiplied it's multiplied by minus this not subtract it's multiplied so that 2 sine theta and that 2 sine theta cancels out. So we're almost there. I've got to deal with the cosine theta and change it in terms of u, which is not difficult to do because I know that u is equal to 1 plus 2 cosine theta. So I can express cosine theta in terms of u by subtracting 1 and dividing both sides by 2. So I'm left with cosine theta is u minus 1 over 2. So now what I'm left with when I complete this, I'm left with my limits of 1 and 3. I'm left with 2 over u, and I'm, I'm left with um, cosine theta, let's say minus 2 over u, because there's a minus that's multiplying this, and cosine theta is going to be u minus 1 over 2. Now, you can see here that minus I've, I've put in front of this, because it's multiplying the whole thing, it's all, be, all going to be negative, and that's 2 over u, because the 2 sine theta cancelled out, so now I'm left with just the cosine theta, which is u minus 1 over 2. These twos cancel out, okay? And this is with respect to u, by the way. So now I've got the limits of 1 and 3. Now I've got minus 1 over u times u minus 1. Okay, if I with, that's integrate with respect to u. 
So now I can multiply this out. So the minus one can multiply with the numerator. So I'm left with minus u plus one, which is one minus u over u. Okay, now this is something, whoops, that's one and three, not one and one. This is something which I can integrate very easily by splitting it up into two separate fractions. This is like one over u minus one. Just write this as two separate fractions, split them up into two fractions. This is, they get, they've got the same denominator. If I, if I was to add these together, that would be u over u, one minus u over u, that's right. So now I can, now it's ready to integrate with the limits one and three, one on top, three underneath. So when I integrate this, well, this is one over u, which becomes lin of the modulus of u minus the integral of one, which is u. And I've got here the limits one and three. Okay, so now I can put the limits in. This is lin one. I don't need to put the modulus because that's a positive number. Minus one, minus, then I have lin of three, minus three. Okay, so that gives me zero, lin one is zero. So I have minus one, minus lin three, plus three, which is basically two minus lin three. Now there's our answer. However, the question says they want the answer in the form lin a e squared. Now, some people will be thinking, how on earth are we going to end up with an e there? Okay, well, one way of thinking about this is to think about this as, let's go kind of uh, halfway. Let's, start, let's, let's try to split this up so you've got two separate terms. This would be lin a plus lin e squared. And we know that lin e squared is the same as 2, right? It's the same as 2. We can say this is like 2 lin e, so it's the same as 2. So this 2, I can rewrite it as 2 lin e. Okay, why did I do that? Because I want to introduce an e in here, because that's how we have to express the answer. So going backwards with this kind of gives you an idea of what you have to do to make this look like that. So 2 lin e minus lin 3 which is going to be lin e squared minus lin 3, which I can combine together as using division. That's lin e squared over 3, which is exactly the form that we need. It's just a is going to be 1 third. So this is lin, lin of 1 third e squared. And we can see a is equal to 1 third here. Okay, a is a constant to be found. It didn't say an integer, it says a constant. Um, and that's it, lin a e squared. So we've got something exactly in that form, lin a third e squared. So there's our answer to the question. All right, so um, not too difficult, but you see, with substitution, you, may, you use this method, it always works out in the end. Things cancel out, and you can replace things with what you need, and it becomes very easy in the end. And the limits, the reason why we change the limits is because this is in terms of theta. So the limits must be in terms of theta. This is in terms of u. So you must change the limits in terms of u. Okay, it's nothing really too complicated about that. Um, and the answer comes out. And if you get your answer like this and you have to express it in that form, just a very not easy way of doing it is to kind of go backwards with this. So let's split this up and see where this leads to us, leads us to. All right, and we say, oh, okay, I can... I know that this is like 2 lin e is 2. So, you know, it, it goes back to lin a plus 2. So I can replace the 2 with basically lin e squared. All right? This is what we basically did. Okay? So there we have the answer to that question. Other questions about, or first of all, from this particular paper, will be found in this playlist over here. Other questions use about integration can be found in here. Integration by substitution uh, specifically. Generally, integration from P4 can be found in this playlist, and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to look at the description of the videos for other um, material you might be interested, and see you soon.